Hi everyone and welcome to another video on I Do Care. Well, not just another video, because with Adopt, this is the most important video ever uploaded on this channel. Because, dear family, this Thursday, October 20, our beloved Candy, this beautiful dog that we rescued just two weeks ago, walking in the rain, hungry and disoriented in the middle of the streets, but above all, very pregnant, who kept us on our toes for several days and it seemed that those puppies weren't coming, but finally, here they are. And they couldn't be more precious and adorable. allow me to start at the beginning. Let's savor this beautiful moment. Let's go back a few days ago. We knew that Candy could give birth at any time. So after reading any amount of information about it, we set out to get all that we didn't have, which was basically cleaning products, towels and blankets, more food than the vet prescribed because we read that after giving birth, the mother has to have food freely available. You know, all you can eat buffet. So we stuck it up on another huge bag of Nutrisource for large breed puppies, a piece of wood to set up as a divider in the whelping area so that Candy could get in and out easily, while also containing her babies so that they are not going to spread around and they are well controlled. We also brought a small scale to keep track the babies and monitor their proper growth and finally, a heater and electric blanket to keep the puppies warm, as we saw that it is something vital, especially in their first weeks of life. Once at home, we prepared the area, placing the wood, as I mentioned before, but also putting a tarp below for two things. First, so that in case of getting very dirty, it contains all the Louis kits. In second, and not least, to better insulate from the cold ground. Then we put the open carrier on her, which we notice she loves, with the waterproof bed inside and a blanket on top for extra comfort. And an extra blanket on the part that the carrier didn't cover, just in case baby come while she is there. In that, a couple more days passed and suddenly it happened. Everything started very stealthily. In fact, I didn't expect it at all. I thought that Candy would show a little more the moment of beginning to give birth, but no, it is true that she was a bit restless and agitated, but she was like that for almost the last two days. We didn't notice any other change, until suddenly I heard a very slight moan. In fact, the first time I heard it, I thought it was that. I was like, what did I just hear? But right away, it sound again. And that's when I got up, went to see, and sure enough, birth had begun. La cuestión es que acababa de escuchar como un llanto. We approach carefully, trying to invite her as little as possible, although I have to say that at this point we consider we had enough trust with Candy to be with her in this situation. The first puppy was born without problems. Candy knew perfectly well what to do, and she removed the placenta and cut the umbilical cord quickly and effectively. She then continued to clean him with loving licks until he was flawless. Remember how I said I put this blanket in there just in case? Obviously, she had to choose that part to have the babies. And now we felt like the carrier was disturbing her. So we removed it, leaving just the waterproof bed, and we left her a lot of more space to continue with the delivery, as comfortable as possible. Half an hour later, the second arrived, whom she received in the same way. And before we knew it, he was already sucking on the teeth next to his older brother, who had already been hooked there for a while. My gosh, how these puppies come well learned. I'm not going to go on too long because the birth lasts 6 hours from 3 in the afternoon until 9 at night. Candy gave birth to 8 puppies, 5 females and 3 males, with intervals of approximately 30 and 45 minutes between each one. And they all arrived perfectly. 
As I mentioned before, I will publish another video with an extended version of the bird for those who want to see it in more detail. But for this video, we're going to make a summary because as I say, this was a process of many hours in which Candy behaved like a true champion. What a brave woman. It seems incredible to me the instinct that animals have, both mother and puppies, to know how to do perfectly what each one of them has to do. We were supervising the entire delivery, but the truth is that we practically did not have to intervene in no time, just a couple of times. One in which Candy was squashing a bit one of the babies and another to help one of them find the nipple which the poor baby wasn't doing. But we helped them with that just because we were there and we were wising to help. But boy, if we hadn't been there, they would have ended up solving it themselves perfectly with no doubt. What I do have doubts about is where and under what conditions Candy would have given birth if we had not rescued her that day and under what conditions this baby would have been born. And above all, how many of them would have survived? Because as I told you back then, at the hospital, they told us that her blood test showed a certain degree of anemia. And we had to give her vitamins and nutrients, as well as good food, so that Candy was 100% ready to bring her puppies without any problem. And thanks to life, that's how it was. Candy has brought into this world eight beautiful puppies all healthy and with good lungs, because you don't expect how they claim. Eight puppies whom we wait to control their evolution in the next weeks, and then we move to another clean area, and this time on the heat of the electric blanket. Although moving them to another area, apparently the mother didn't like it very much, because she wanted to take them back to the exactly place where she brought them. And of course, the queen rules. So we move all the clean area and with the electric blanket where the queen wanted. Now we finally let them rest. They deeply deserve it. We will leave the official introductions for another day because today we are taking too long. But what a beautiful moment to see how Candy brought each one of them, how she took them out of the placenta, she cleaned and pampered them. Really, how wonderful how life makes its way.
Congratulations to those of you who have guessed the number of puppies right. As you have seen, there have finally been eight. And I have to say that they could be identified quite well in the X-rays. So more clues I couldn't have given you. Although it is true that there could have been one or two more that was not reflected in the images. Anyway, thanks a lot for participating in this. It was so funny and beautiful. These days we will do the contest to see who is the definitive winner. And I will get to work to design and send that very special gift. Remember that if you like what we do, you can lend us a hand through our Patreon or PayPal, through which you can help us on a one-time or on a monthly basis. Below in the description of the video, you will find the links. And in case it is better for you, we also leave you the option to join on our YouTube channel. We would love to have our own shelter one day, but only with your help, we can make our dream come true. Thank you very much for joining us in this very special video. Remember that you can also follow us on our Instagram, I do care CR, where we publish a little more about our day today, like Candy's puppy's birth, which we were uploading all the process in there. I hope you liked the video. Please leave your comments. It's always a pleasure to read you. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do. And if so, I leave you here a couple of videos that probably you will like them too. I send you a big, big hug and see you very soon.